Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to episode 7, I believe this is. I'm kind of recording these back to back, well, there's a couple of hours in between. No, I think this is episode 8. I, I know I'll correct it <laughs> in post, but yeah, I think actually this is episode 8 of um, Project Architect. And I did a little bit in between episodes. Um, at the end of the last episode, I was in the village. I was collecting EMC. I've got up to 7 million. And because um, I was trading with villagers. And also I put, um, I mentioned that um, Chosen Architect, the mod author, he's updated the pack. So now you've got these, and some, he explained in his video, but I was kind of half listening. But um, basically, I think now these energy collectors are in it. Because he was saying something about they've now got Mark 1. There were some things. But basically, you can put these down. I think I've done it correctly. I'm not 100% on this. But you're supposed to put coal here. This will fill up. And I'd put it and this bar had filled up and then nothing was happening. So I think what you're supposed to do is put the coal here and put the coal here and it will fill up slowly. And then once it's reached 100%, it would drop a piece of alchemical coal here. Um, so I think that's what it is. At some point when we get more EMC, we can make a flower, a power flower, but that's not for right now. Um, over here in the corner, I'm going to put the mob farm because now, well, not now, there always was mob, uh, mob grinding utilities. I'm going to make a mob farm with Cursed Earth because I forgot that came with it. But again, that's not for now. That's for a future date, but I went and carved this out anyway. And um, today, what I want to do, which is what I was going to do in the last episode, I believe I told somebody commented and I said oh I'm going to do this in episode six and then or episode seven and I didn't so um yeah basically I was supposed to do it in the last episode and I didn't so um so yeah so this episode I want to do Ars Nouveau I want to start it oh and I made the spyglass because this has the um the 1.18 port in it and the spyglass is kind of fun. I don't know. Like I said, I've never used it. 1.18. That's not going to be very good. But you know, it just... Oh. That's not... Don't know what happened there. But yeah, it's just it's just a cool thing. Not very useful. Not as good as um Optifine. But there you go. Uh, what else? I put finally put the walls around the bedroom and I put down a pressure plate as well so I don't have to hit it. What else? I unlocked a couple of trinkets while I was trading. Um, anything else? I don't think there was anything else. I was basically trading, fixing this. Oh, chipped as a whole set of machines. A lot. Because we made the carpenter's table, I think, in episode one or two. They have an alchemy bench, which I can't remember what you can put in it. Um, they have a loom that you can put in um, bits of wool. Well, wool blocks, and you they'll have patterns on them and stuff. It's a bit like the chisel mod, but for lots of different things. The botanist work, botanist's workbench works with... Um, mushrooms and spider webs and I think lily pads and the mechanist mechanists workbench works with um lanterns and the mason's table is stone I think that's it so I made all of them because they look rather pretty and you never know when you need something uh, move some stuff around so I've got these all in a circle got these over here eventually we will upgrade to the uh, refined storage system because 
Uh, Chosen was talking about there's now going to be a way to link your EMC table to your refined storage system. So they kind of hook up. But I don't think that from how he was talking, I don't think that's implemented as yet. But I will have to keep watching his videos to see how you set it up, because I have no idea. So, OK, there's that. Let's start. Let's yeah, let's start. All right, so we have can I put this in this? I don't know if that's going to work. I know that notebooks in notebooks. What am I talking about? Bags and bags. I don't know where I got notebooks from. Bags and bags tend to crash things. So I'm not going to. And what else? Uh, oh. I was going to do bigger reactors. But then I started looking at videos and stuff. And then there's a chance that, you know, it could all go kablooey and it could all go very wrong and powers in it. And I can do a basic power reactor. And I don't have, I couldn't put it up and not, and not worry about it. So um, I probably won't do um, bigger reactors, I don't think. I don't know. I'm still on the fence about that one. But we have the Sterling Dynamo if we needed, you know, a bit of power. For example, when we get the refined storage system up, I can put a Sterling Dynamo next to it and that can power it. So that's not a problem. Uh, what else? Uh, there's the GM feed to make the, um, the cursed earth or the mob farm. Uh, end inventory cake. Oh, eat to gain a permanent magical backpack. I think we can make that. Cause I have all of these, or I can make all of these things. No, don't have, I don't think we have any, um, any seeds and I haven't made an ender chest yet so there's that uh, anything else right nothing else Ars Nouveau I've been rambling for almost almost 10 minutes so yeah Ars Nouveau right so to start uh, right we don't need that I did go ahead and I made the I made the magical clay. Oh, I keep forgetting. It's not over here. Yeah, let's move that. Oh, yes, I made the magnet upgrade for my backpack. So now anything I pick up goes into my backpack. And we probably need to upgrade the backpack as well so that it's bigger. Um, Yes, I made the magical clay that you need for the glyphs because I know you need those. But let's start. All right, getting started. Uh, spell casting. You need to obtain a spell book. So let's make the spell book first. And I think I have it there in my right novice spell book. And we can color it. Hmm. All right. So we need a book with a shovel. Pickaxe, axe, and a sword. And I believe we have all of these in the EMC table. Uh, iron, shovel, pickaxe, axe, and sword. And we need a book. All right. Book, shovel, pickaxe. Axe, sword, novice, spell book. Ooh, crafting mode. So we can make these spells without having the um the spell glyph. Okay. So first, to craft your first spell, you must select the form. A form glyph will always be the first glyph in a spell recipe. Next, add any number of effects to the chain. The effects refer to what the spell would do and what, and they will resolve in the order they are placed. And an augment can modify the spell. Okay, so form is touch. The effect is break. Can we do more than one break? Spell name. Um, what can we call it? Okay. Um, 
pickaxe create okay so the first one is pickaxe the second one so then that means then <gasps> oh it broke it and it probably put it in my i think this can go up to um um iron iron level i still saying eight i don't know what it's doing okay nope yeah this is making emc passively yeah okay right anyway um spell so that purple thing down in the corner is our mana oh you know what i know i had never showed you guys there's a torch launcher in this the torch launcher is from cyclic and it's absolutely freaking brilliant let me show you so there's a cave right here right and if i stand here oh let's use oh no okay we'll have to make a different spell because that's oh pickaxe is just we would if we wanted to kill things all right let's ah probably should have done that Should not have done that. All right, let's do this again. Uh, where are we? Cobblestone. Right. Right, so. I think C is open. Yeah, C is open spell book. And we want a new spell, so form projectile and we want it to harm i guess if we do as many harms as we can and kill very creative nope how do you cycle through spells don't know so we need something to kill is there anything around Oh, there's you over there. Not of enough mana. Okay, so they're too far? Is it? I don't know if it's too far. Or because we made the spell too powerful. I think we made the spell too powerful. Uh, not enough mana. Okay. Alright, that's good to know. Let's sleep anyway, and then I can show you the torch launcher. Why does it say not enough mana? We have we have mana. That is how much mana you have, I think. Anyhow, we need to make mage clothes. Oh hello. Oh, and a Walden thing. Where'd the Oh, you're annoying. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. These things are really annoying. Did we get something from him, though? Uh, no. They don't drop anything. Some of them do. But this lot haven't. Right, torch launcher. Right, got you. Can you come up? I don't think you can. All right. Anyway, um, let's see. There is a dark patch down there where that zombie is. All right. If I aim the torch launcher out there and um, right click, the hell? What on earth is that? It will light up the empty spaces and it can... What the fudge is that? You saw that, right? Some kind of ultra... 
ultra something dude. Is he gone? I don't know what that was. But we we saw it, right? We did see it. Um, let's point the torch launcher in that cave right at the very back. And you see it lands on the wall. Pretty cool. I do love it. It has durability. It has durability, but yeah, it's not going to go that far. Yeah, if there's no surface for it to land on, then it won't land. But I stood here and torched up all of that bit. And all out there as well. Yeah, there's probably nothing for it to land on out there. But I am kind of just shooting. Yeah, there you go. But, um... But yeah, it's it's a lot of fun. Uh, right, we've gotten sidetracked yet again. Not we, I have. But just seeing the cave reminded me, torch launcher. Right, let's put this away. Ah, uh, right. Um, so. Okay, so the form is the first glyph. The effect is the second glyph. And for whatever, whatever reason, so we don't have enough mana all right so how do i change how do i change the spell ah you press v okay so we know that pickaxe works so we can use that to mine with but i think i remember seeing somewhere that the more you use the more mana you collect i think Let's go somewhere where it's not going to be noticeable. If I go here, for example, there you go, that's using mana. So now that's not enough mana. That makes sense. Okay, that makes sense. So that's working. I don't know why the kill one wasn't working, but that's fine. So then now, the next thing, oh, X is the next spell. The V is quick select, X is the next spell, and Z is the previous spell. Did I say Z? Z. Right. Um, right, so we have to make a glyph press. Back home, uh, source, we got source gems. Oh, source is a special resource and it's used for powering devices like the glyph press and enchanting apparatus. So to begin gathering source, you need a source jar and a source link. So volcanic source link apparently is the best. So a source jar, if click, no. All right, source jar is just glass and arcane stone. Arcane stone is, okay, we have some of this stone. Any stone? All right, we have um, S-O-S-C. Yeah, we have that. There were seven of those and piece of glass, was it? All right, source. Source, source jar, source link, source jar. So piece of arcane stone, which is that, and a source gem. So we need one more of those and a source gem. I wonder if it's any any stone. It might be any stone. Nope. All right, source jar, arcane stone. Oh, uh, that's cobble. Where are we? Oh, it's in here. So is it any stone then? Or not cobblestone? Probably any any stone. Four, five, six, seven. And one more is eight. And that. And that gives you arcane stone. Put that in there. And then it was glass, I think. 
Uh, source jar. Yep. That is also EMCable. Grab you in there, put the glass back, put the arcane stone back. And we also need. Nope. Notebook. We also need a source link. Volcanic is the best. Okay, the volcanic source link generates generates source by consuming burnable items. Oh, so the agronomic source link is when you grow things. Nearby crop growth, crop growth and tree growth. Okay, so maybe we should make this one instead. We could set up a farm. Um, isn't it? Oh, I'm pretty sure you can get one. You you used to be able to get it from growing animals as well okay so that means then we're gonna have to make a little farm out back all right let's sleep because it's night time again okay uh do i have yeah we're gonna need where you're burning um do i have a hoe i have a mattock i think that works and if we get some seeds and a bucket of water all right so what was oh i keep forgetting i've moved it here um agro oh there's lots of different source links vitalic source link it doesn't tell you what it does um agronomic so two source gems two gold and a piece of wheat um take that oh no wrong device i suppose we're gonna have to um let's put it here really all right, we're gonna need a hoe then. Um, all right, we're gonna have to make a hoe. Oh no, we have a. I don't want to take out our EMC table. I already lost one in a village. I put it down, then forgot I'd put it down. And then sometime after, I was like, "Where's my EMC table?" Let's come back and get another one, which was really annoying. Uh, hoe. We make a gold one. Make an iron one. Right. Um. Hmm. Oh, I think you have to put it on top of the source jar. That's the wrong thing. You put it on top of the source jar. So you put your source jar down. And I think you put this on top. That's it. So when it grows, it's um, it will soak it up. And then let's have a look at the volcanic one. Um, Generate source by consuming burnable items. Archwood logs will generate bonus mana. With blazing archwood generating the most. Um, it produces heat, but it doesn't say how to put it up. Okay, the volcanic source link will convert occasionally convert stone into magma blocks and magma blocks into lava, given that these blocks exist beneath it in a three by three area. This conversion is dependent on the amount of heat it has produced over time. The volcanic source link will also spawn a lava lily adjacent to it, given that there is nothing covering the lava. Lava lilies may be harvested and used for decoration. Okay, that makes no... I need to see this. Okay, um... Source is used in glyphs. All right, let's see. Let's make the glyph press and the enchanting apparatus. But yeah, the, the, the volcanic one, I need to see that place down. Ah, <sighs> um, source glyph. Source relay. Relay splitter. Glyph press, not source glyph. Um, arcane stone, piston, stone, and block of iron. Okay, arcane stone. We need five of those. Piston. Uh, two stone. Uh, any stone should do. And a block of iron. And that's a glyph press. So we can put that out next to the source jar. I feel like I should put, um, what do you call it? Doors on all the sides of the house. Okay. Did that be? No, that shouldn't. I don't think that's supposed to be on top there. I think when you're ready to make stuff, you just put it on because you need magic clay which I've made and um, some other stuff depending on what the glyph is all right so let's have a look now all right so we've done the source jar we've done the source link apparatus crafting in ours in order 
the the uh, crafting with the enchanting apparatus requires up to eight arcane pedestals, an arcane core, and the enchanting apparatus block. Okay, I feel like I'm missing something somewhere, but I I don't know. Okay, so then we could make our first mana bloom seed. Um, enchanting apparatus. Okay, so the enchanting apparatus utilizes pedestals and source for crafting. To use the enchanting apparatus, place any number of arcane pedestals nearby with their items. Once you've filled the pedestals, use the middle item on the enchanting apparatus block. The enchanting apparatus requires an arcane core underneath it to work. So how do you know? All right, let's have a look at mana bloom. Okay, mana bloom, mage bloom seed. So you need four source gems and a seed, any seed. That's four pedestals, right? So we need one of these that goes in the middle and four pedestals, four arcane pedestals, arcane stone in a in an eye shape. All right, arcane stone. I should have just taken out a stack of it. Arcane. All right, so we want four of those. And then we also want the enchanting apparatus. We want three of those. Iron ingot and a diamond. All right, so enchanting apparatus. There's that. Go and sleep. What are they doing? Are they having a party? There's like four of them out there. They're all just waiting. All right, how do you know when you have source? Oh, it's like liquid in the bottom. Can you see it? That purple stuff. Right, okay. Okay, okay. Right, so we know that's working now. Okay, I thought that was another creeper. All right, so we want the... In Chanting apparatus in the middle there and then the pedestals we want four at least one two three four okay and to make to make the man the mage bloom uh, did I save it? No, I didn't. To make the Mage Bloom seed, you want four source gems and a seed. All right, the next question is, do I have enough source to make, to, to do our spell? I don't know, but there's only one way to find out. So you put there, two, three, four, Oh, an arcane core. It did say that. Uh, six arcane stone and two gold. Th this this mod is really gold heavy. Um, gold. Or was it two gold? It was six and two, wasn't it? Um, two across the t three across the top, three across the bottom, and one on each side. All right, pickaxe. Uh, this isn't really classed as a pickaxe. I'm not going to risk it. All right, that is the arcane core and backpack. There is the enchanting apparatus and the seeds are here. Oh, it's doing something. We made a seed. Very nice. So if we grow this now, let's put an extra extra one on the corner. Can we bone meal that to make it grow a little bit quicker? I know when you bone meal, it doesn't... Ah, uh, what? Did I just throw something? I swear I did. Right, um, I know when you bone meal a, um, when you bone meal something, uh, crops it doesn't produce source but i don't want really to produce source i just want oh that was quick okay 
nice because I want to make I want to see how much of these we can get so we can at least make the major's clothes before I finish recording I know the sane way of doing it would be <laughs> to um um you know put down more seeds but that's fine all right so what's this mana we want the novice boots to make the no not the arch mage to make the mage boots do we need oh we need a different thing okay so mage bloom fiber is that that gives you four that's more than enough but then the blaze fiber Oh, we can, I think we can just go straight up to the next set, can't we? But if we turn all of this, that's plenty. And then I think we need 20 something because it's the same as, yeah, same as thing. So to make this, we need 40 something and blaze powder. All right, get a stack of blaze powder. Uh, 24, 48, I think you need. 32, that's it. Okay, so boots, leggings, hood, and made robes. And let's take this stuff off. And that is going to be our, well, let, let's make it daylight outside. And I can take a picture with the, with the stuff outside. My knowledge of death increased. What does that mean? Yeah. All right, let's just make sure there's no no surprises. Nothing looking to kill. Oh, there is. There's a creeper. I don't want the creeper to creep on us. Go away, creeper. See, he knew I was there. He's coming over to investigate. They know. All right, I need another armor stand. Look, now he's looking in through the window. See, that's why they're called creepers. They like to creep on you armor stand it's a pity you can't like click on the armor stand and it will bring it up so you don't have to go in your inventory to put it on so i've got my spare set of armor in case i get killed um i've got my current armor i've got this tinkers tinkers um travelers stuff which i have no idea what it does but I made it. Has it gone? No, it's right outside my back door, isn't it? Where is it? Don't know where it is. Right, let's go outside. Let's take a picture. Actually, you know what? Let's just go up on the roof for a second. Oh, it's not on the mini map. It's gone. Excellent. Right. Um. <laughs> oh crap. There's me saying it's gone. It's not gone. It was hiding. It was hiding. Is it gone? No wonder I couldn't see it. Oh, my days. Oh. Oh, it's gone now, right? No, it's round the back. Let's see if this works. It's working. It worked. Oh, it worked. <laughs> oh, that was funny. Right. <laughs> and on that note, we're going to finish the episode. Oh, my days. That was, um, that was a surprise. But yeah, see, we went straight to the, um, the second, the second tier. Because we don't need, we don't need it. We didn't need the first tier. Um, what do I want? F5. Me in my mage robes, looking very mage-like. 
Yeah, perfect. Right, so thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.